Hi, Jane Burnett from janeburnett.com. Hey, I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit today about uh, the ripple of power through the body, the physics of acceleration in your body in terms of issuing or striking, and um, I guess it's usually called Fajin, although Fajin is uh, associated with uh, some kind of woo magical stuff where people just touch someone and they go flying and they claim it's you know, either non-physical or non-muscular, but I don't think there's any way to issue power from a human body that isn't physical, that doesn't involve muscles and bones. Um, so let's take a really simple movement. Um, this is just our version of, of cloud hands, this kind of motion here. So I'm going to do cloud hands, except I'm going to close my fist at the end. So this is just one version. If it's different from yours, uh, there's a more cloud hands than there are people doing this, so many variations. But anyway, from here, if I start off kind of mechanical and just work on the circuit like that, you can see I'm rooted in that foot. I'm not caving this in, keeping this open. Rooted in that foot. The power is coming from my leg, and I'm firming my hip right about here, and I'm letting my waist turn, waist, not hips, waist, and I'm letting that waist turn move my shoulder, elbow, and then as each one stops, the momentum is transferred out through my forearm into my hand or into my fist. So I have this, 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 and this. At the very end, I'm going to drop my weight a little bit so that I don't knock myself off my center. I'm going to actually go push up a little and then I'm going to settle. So if I do it very mechanically and I kind of hold on to it, you can see the ripple, but it's a gesture. It's not really um, a ripple because I'm not really creating any um, real momentum. Uh, if I stop my body, my hands would stop. If I stop my body, my hands would stop. Okay? And sometimes you see Tai Chi like this, a tournament style, sometimes where they're holding on to the movement. And there's no momentum and there's no, there's no energy going through the, through the system. So then I can take this kind of mechanical movement like this, which I think of as being too young or too held, and then I can add some softness. So now I'm just going to be really, really soft and I'm just relaxing and I'm just feeling that circuit going through the body. So I'm doing a similar kind of thing, but now if my body stops, my hand continues a little bit. Because there's a little momentum, right? So, very soft. Now if I was too soft and it was just, you know, it could just be kind of, just be kind of wobbly, which, to you, and I don't like that either. So now, if I, if I combine the two, if I have the structure and the solidity of the mechanics, and I couple that with the relaxed, soft feeling in my muscles, but I rein that in a little bit, let it be balanced by that structure, kind of float my joints a little bit, now you can see it has a little bit more of a kind of a whipping action. So if I exaggerate it, it would be like so as you do it that way, you can see the elbow is really a focal point. That's the last joint before the, before the main strike of it. So now I'm going to just take that same circuit and I'm just going to tighten that ripple up a little bit. So you can see it comes up to here and then that turn, that turn sends it out. This action. This in itself is weak. But on top of all this other stuff, it amplifies it quite a bit. So now I can go like that. And the more I swing it, the more I have to drop my weight. If I do that, it's going to take me off my balance, right? So that's the recovery of it. So it's soft and relaxed here, pushing my leg, getting some momentum into that arm, and then slowing down, dropping, and uh, issuing out that way with this part of my hand. So this would be an exhale. 
not a good time to breathe in. But <laughs> so I'm going to exit. So it's working that circuit there. Now, if you want to practice this and you want to, you know, you throw in some power into that, be careful because, you know, there's nothing there. So you have to absorb that force. So it helps to kind of drop your weight and also to not do it too hard with too much tension. If you have a bag or a pad, that's different. You can put a little more oomph into it. Also, it helps to firm your center a little bit at the end. And you can let this hand kind of slap against you like that. It helps you kind of ground the whole movement like that. Now, if I take that same circle, that same um, ripple through here, and I just shorten it a bit, do it from here, it's the same similar ripple, but it's smaller now. Or I can let my hand move first, and then right about here, the ripple catches up. That's a way to work with it a little bit less telegraphically, because this you can see coming a mile away. But that is harder to see coming. So I move my hand first, and when I and when it when just before it arrives there, the ripple catches up. So it's got this in it. It's got this whole connected movement in there, right? But it's smaller, like that. Hand moves first, body catches up. And at that last minute, you've got the structure between this fist and this, and this uh, foot. So I could back that up. I'm not, I'm not getting floppy at the end. So it's soft and relaxed in here, and then <laughs> firm and solid at the end. Or smaller. It'd be really small. Like that. So just some playing with the ripple and, uh, and uh, demonstrating how that can be softer and, and smaller and less, you know, telegraphed. And of course, it totally applies to the other side. It applies to all kinds of all kinds of movements in the form. It can be done a whole bit millions of different ways. So I just thought I would show a little bit of a study of that ripple. So you can take any of the Tai Chi movements, you know, parting courses made. It can be done very mechanically without a lot of um, momentum. So your body stops, your hand stops. Or it can be done soft, just smoothing out the, the bumps in the path, making it smoother and easier. Or it can be done kind of in the middle, so you feel the transfer of momentum. You can feel that transfer of momentum going through. And then you can firm it up a little bit. So that you're grounding and dropping as an issue that can apply to a press or that can apply to a crushed knee. You can apply to any of the movements. So if you feel like having fun with that, uh, be careful, go slow, go easy, make sure you have good form, good solid structure and alignment before you throw out much energy into it. And if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe to my channel or visit jeanbrunette.com.